Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Movesets video. Today's video is going to be all about Sawsbuck, so let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Sawsbuck is a normal grass-type Pokemon introduced into Generation 5 that has access to three abilities, the first being Chlorophyll, which increases your speed while sun is up on the battlefield, the second being Sap Zipper, which gives you immunity to grass-type attacks while also providing you with a plus one physical attack boost every single time a grass-type move is used against this Pokemon, and the third being Serene Grace, which is its hidden ability that doubles the chance of a secondary effect of a move occurring, such as a special defense drop from a move like Energy Ball or Psychic. But stat-wise, this Pokemon is pretty frail defensively, possessing a base 80 HP stat, 70 defense stat, and 70 special defense stat meaning that it's not going to be able to take hits that well. But on the offensive side of things, it has a really great base 100 physical attack stat, allowing it to deal a lot of damage with its physical attacks, a okay base 70 special attack stat that you're really not going to get that much use out of, but also a really nice base 95 speed stat, which allows this Pokemon to be pretty fast in the battlefield and outpace a variety of opponents it's matched up against. So with that, let's take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, we're going to start by giving Saucebuck a Jolly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack, or an Adamant Nature to increase its physical attack but lower its special attack. And for the ability, going with any of the three options that this Pokemon has access to, as they all are viable on this moveset. As for the EVs though, we're going to put 252 into its physical attack to max that out, 4 into its special defense, and 252 into its speed stat to max that out as well. And for our item, going either with a Life Orb to increase the power of all of our attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage our opponents, or Grass DMZ. But for the moves, this set is designed to basically boost this Pokemon's speed stat to then turn it into a very potent offensive physical attacking sweeper. So to do this, our first option is going to be running Agility as the most generic speed boosting option as this will be increasing your speed stat by two stages regardless of your ability. The second being Sunny Day, which is to be used specifically in combination with Chlorophyll, which is also really useful to use on a Sun Team, as this Pokemon can then support another teammate with this, or Grass Whistle, which when combined with Grass EMZ, provides you with a plus one speed boost, while also giving you the chance to put an opponent to sleep. And then once we have boosted our speed stat, we have a whole ton of moves to possibly make use of on this set, but for our main normal type stab, we're either going to go with Double Edge for our strongest option, but having recoil, return for a little bit of a weaker option, but having no recoil, or Headbutt, which is going to actually be the weakest option of the three, but having a 60% chance to actually flinch our opponents when used in combination with the Serene Grace ability. And this move is actually new to this Pokemon as a result of the Ultra Sun and Moon games coming out, and one of the main reasons why I'm even making this video to begin with. But in addition to this, we're going to be running a Grass-type stab attack in the form of Horn Leech, and then for our last move, running either Jump Kick, Stomping Tantrum, or Mega Horn for an additional coverage option, or running Swords Dance to give this Pokemon a way of boosting its physical attack stat and make it even more of a powerful offensive threat in addition to its boosted speed as a result of Agility, Sunny Day, or Grass Whistle. As for this next moveset, we're going to seek to augment this Pokemon's offensive capabilities by boosting its physical attack stat and giving it a lot of coverage options. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack going with any ability, again, and an EV spread of 252 attack, 4 special defense, and 252 speed EVs to max out its physical attack and speed stat. But for the item, we're going to go with either a Life Orb to increase the damage of all of our attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage our opponents, or Normalium Z as a way to give this Pokemon a one-time, super powerful normal type move to make use of. But for the moves on the set, the first thing that we're going to go with is going to be Swords Dance to boost our physical attack stat by two stages, and this will make this Pokemon considerably more powerful and also allow it to have some really great sweeping potential. And this, in particular, can be useful in combination with Sap Sipper, which could provide you with an additional physical attack boost while also granting you a Grass-type immunity, Chlorophyll to be used if your teammates are also setting up Sun for Saucebuck to then take advantage of, or even Serene Grace like before to be used in combination with Headbutt, which is one of your main stab normal-type attacks on the set, in addition to Return and Double Edge as mentioned before. But in addition to this, we're then going to again run Horn Leech to be your main stab grass type attack, and then running either Jump Kick, Stomping Tantrum, or Mega Horn in this last move slot to give us Pokemon some additional type coverage and allow it to hit a lot of things for some very powerful damage with its boosted physical attack stat. Finally, as far as fully offensive sets for this Pokemon in this video are concerned, we're going to be running a choice set for Saucebuck to take advantage of. 
So we're going to start this one off by giving it, again, a Jolly Nature, any ability, and the same EV spread, but for our item this time, running either a Choice Band to lock us into a move while increasing our physical attack, or a Choice Scarf to lock us into a move while increasing our speed stat. But for those moves, again, Double Edge, Return, and Headbutt are going to be our main stab normal type attacking options, whereas Horn Leech will be our main stab grass type attacking option. And then we're going to run Jump Kick in this third move slot to give us a powerful fighting type move to make use of. And then finally, running either Stomping Tantrum or Mega Horn in the last move slot for additional type coverage. But this set in itself just gives you some good power outright without the use of a boosting move and can be very effective as a result of this Pokemon being a very deadly Sun Sweeper if you use it with the Chlorophyll ability because you could just have the Choice Band at all times while also having your speed doubled onto the effects of Sun or making it very deadly with a Choice Scarf with Headbutt possibly causing flinches with Serene Grace and a whole bunch of other options while using this with Sap Sipper as well. But moving on to the fourth move set of this video, I'm going to be showing off what very well may be my new favorite subseeding set on any Pokemon. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature again to boost its speed but lower its special attack, and for the ability, going either with Serene Grace, which is going to be used specifically in combination with Headbutt to give us a chance to flinch our opponents, or Sap Sipper, which allows this set to be very effective against opposing Grass types, because normally, Grass types are a bane to many subseeding sets as you can't Leech Seed an opposing Grass type Pokemon. But for our EVs, we're again going to go with the same attack and speed EV spread as on the previous three movesets, as this allows this Pokemon to have some pretty great offensive potential, even on a more passive set like this one. And for our item, going with either Leftovers to increase our HP at the end of every turn, or potentially running a Lumberry if you want to prevent this Pokemon from being statused while it attempts to subseed its opponents. But for our moves, Obviously, Substitute and Leech Seed are going to be our first two to get us behind a protective barrier to shield us from attacks and statuses while we attempt to drain our opponent's HP away at the end of every turn while also giving it back to ourselves to then give us enough HP to then potentially make yet another Substitute. And the cycle slowly continues and continues throughout the battle until your opponent either switches out or is KO'd. But for our main normal type stab, Again, like mentioned before, we're going to run Headbutt to give us a chance to flinch our opponents, which is boosted up to a 60% chance to do so when used in combination with Serene Grace, or if going with the Sap Sipper variant, going with Return to give us Pokemon a powerful normal type move to make use of there as well. But in addition to this, we can also run Thunder Wave in our last move slot to give us Pokemon a way to paralyze things while also lead seeding them and also possibly flinching them, making it very difficult for your opponent to attack while they are leech seeded, which is why this set can be amazing when used in combination with Serene Grace. But additionally, we could also run Bounce on the set to give us Pokemon a powerful flying type move that can damage opposing grass types that will be immune to your sub seeding for super effective damage, which also has a 30% chance to paralyze opponents, which is then boosted up to 60 if used with Serene Grace or just running another stab option in Horn Leech on the set for a powerful grass type physical move to take advantage of. But finally, for the last move set of this video, I'm going to be showing off what is a very effective toxic stalling set that Sauce Buck can now run as a result of it now being able to learn the move Headbutt and the Serene Grace ability. So again, we're going to go with the Jolly Nature, the Serene Grace ability as I just mentioned, and the same EV spread that we've been using, and for the item going with Leftovers to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. But for the moves, this time we're going to start again with Substitute, for that utility of being able to be behind a protective barrier to shield us from attacks and statuses, but then our secondary attack on the set is going to be Toxic as a way to poison opponents, making it so that they will slowly be losing more and more HP at the end of every turn. And in addition to this, we're then going to be running Headbutt, for the reasons stated previously, and that it will have a 60% chance to flinch our opponents with Serene Grace as our ability. And if you think about that, when used in combination with Toxic, this makes this set very deadly, as your opponent possibly will not even be able to break your sub, and then at the end of every turn will be taking increased damage the longer they stay in, because the toxic damage will slowly rack up. But finally, for the last move slot, we're going to run either Stomping Tantrum to give you a decently powerful ground type move that's going to allow you to hit opposing steel types and poison types super effectively, specifically, because they will be immune to your toxic, or running Jump Kick to give us a more powerful option that is really great when used against opposing steel types specifically, while this won't really be that effective against poison types. So do keep that in mind as your last attacking option. But overall, this set can just be very annoying for your opponent to deal with, because they're going to have to basically either switch out once they start getting their toxic damage racked up, 
or stay in and take a bunch of flinches and then just die outright, which is why this set is very cool to run on this Pokemon as a result of it now getting the move Headbutt. But anyways, everybody, that is it for this video on Saucebuck. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.